Hello, everybody, and welcome to the TeacherCast Educational Broadcasting Network. This is the TeacherCast Podcast. Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for making TeacherCast your home for professional development. My name is Jeff Bradbury, and in case you haven't heard, there are several amazing things happening on TeacherCast these days. We, of course, love it when you watch our live Tech Educator podcast on Sunday nights at 7 o'clock, and you can check out all the great stuff happening online at TeacherCast. And if you want to, leave us a voice message at teachercast.net slash voicemail and say, suggest some of our topics for our upcoming shows. We love it when you are a part of the TeacherCast Educational Broadcasting Network. Today we have a great app that we're featuring, an app that is amazing, that is student and teacher based. And I'm going to introduce our guest today, Krista Curtis. Krista, how are you today? Welcome to TeacherCast. Hey, Jeff. Thanks for having me. I'm doing really, really well. Thank you so much for being on. You and I connected a few weeks ago because you have an amazing app that just recently launched, and it is absolutely beautiful. Tell us a little bit about what you have today. Yeah, great. So uh, I'm talking about our new app, Recap, and it's a student um, video response and reflection app that's really easy to use. Um, Basically, teachers prompt questions to their students who then record the responses on video. Um, They can use either uh, a web device, like a laptop, Chromebook, MacBook, um, or we also have an iPad app that students can respond on their iPads. And and how does this work exactly? I mean, this is a system that's set up for teacher asking questions or asking prompts and student feedback. How does the whole system work? Yeah, so basically the teacher logs into the Recap website and uh, first create their class. Um, Really easy to do, Um, create the class and there's two login options. One is uh, students can log in with a class pin. Um, Really easy for shared devices or younger students who can't remember their email address and password. And we also support email address and password, which is great for um, a little bit more security between the students. So once the class is created, the teacher can now go ahead and add an assignment. Um, There's two types of assignments. Um, Well, each each assignment can have multiple questions. So each question can either be purely text or we can have uh, videos. um, So the teacher can record a video for students. Um, This is really great for if the students can't read yet um, or perhaps for foreign language classes um, and a lot of other use cases around that. Um, Now that the teacher has assigned the the question, they can go ahead and ask their students to to sign up and log into their their account um, and respond to the videos. Um, Really easy, students log in and question pops up um, and hit the big pink respond button. You know, I, I've been working with this for the last couple of weeks. Uh, we were lucky enough to get into some of the, the, the pre-testing uh, on this. And I got to tell you, it's an amazing, amazing experience. The video back and forth is, is seamless. The kids are going to love it here. Who do you see as the target for this app? Is this mostly for elementary teachers or is this more for upper grades? Or do you see this being used K to 12? You know, honestly, I was expecting this to be the sweet spot to be about K to three, but we're actually finding, you know, we we do have a lot of users in that age group, but um, middle school, high school, there's a lot of use cases, especially in science and math, um, foreign languages. Um, So we we never intended it to be specific to a grade. We wanted it to be open for for a variety of, of grades. Um, so, uh, it's, it's really great to see all the different types of exciting things that teachers are doing with it. Now, I understand that by using video, this gives many students the ability to participate in class in ways that they wouldn't feel comfortable with if they had to raise their hand and ask questions. I'm assuming that this is really, really turning kids on to answering questions these days. Yeah, um, one of our, our teachers who's teaching science talks about how it's really building rapport in the classroom and um, letting students kind of get to know each other in ways that they couldn't before. Um, and it's it's also great for those shyer students who are afraid to speak up in class, um, but can now record their recap privately and have uh, have their teachers see it. 
Kristen, tell us a little bit about how this whole thing came together. Where did the whole idea of, of recap come from? Yeah, so this, uh, um, we actually, uh, uh, our parent company is Swivel, um, and we work on a professional development robot um, that captures video of teachers as they're teaching, um, which is great for teachers to reflect on what they're doing. But what we're thinking is, you know, this is such a, a great tool for teachers. Um, there's got to be something that we can do to uh, make this more beneficial for students. Um, so along the way, um, I had conversations with hundreds of different teachers to just figure out, like, you know, if we're going to, to make something um, for teachers and students to use um, in the classroom um, as an everyday kind of tool, uh, what could it be? Um, so it really, um, you know, it was a, a three months project just to figure out, you know, what's what's the, the prototype of this um, and just continuing to having conversations with with teachers to build it out. And how long did it take to get from concept to live? So this was an ultra fast project. We have a, a team of 35 engineers working on it. Um, so it only took us about six months from from the prototype to getting it out um, back in March. Oh, wow. That's pretty fast. So, Krista, without further ado, why don't you give us a little demonstration of how this whole system works? Yeah, so we're at letsrecap.com. And now that I'm on the website, um, if you need an account, you can sign up here. But I already have one, so I'm going to click the login button. And first it asks me if I'm a teacher or a student. So um, I'm going to click on teacher. So here we are on the teacher's dashboard. Um, we can see that I have a, a, a demo class that's um, already set up. It's come with every teacher's account. Um, and we can see um, just an overview of what this might look like once we're already using it. But without further ado, let's create our own class. So I click the add new class button and I'll call it my first class. Um, the next thing is I get to select, do I want my students to sign in with a class pin or email address and password? Class pin is great for students who have trouble remembering their email address and password or shared devices. Email address uh, provides a little bit more security. So I'll choose class pin and now I can enter in student's name. So I'll just add myself as a student. So Krista, there I am. And now I'll click add class. And there it is, my first class. So now I'll click and go into it. And um, first thing I'll do is I'll add an assignment. So let's call this assignment the weather. So I can add multiple questions um, up to 10. Um, I'll remove those. And what I'm going to ask is, how's the weather today? If I want, I can record a video. Um, that way my students can, can listen to me and see me talking. Um, but this one, I'll just do text. So now I'll assign it. And here are my options. Um, I can select how long students can get to respond per question. Um, so 30 seconds sounds good to me. Um, I can also select uh, how long the assignment is, is available for, um, one day, two days a week. Um, I can also select if I wanted to assign to the whole class or individual students. Um, I only have one student in my class, so um, I'll just assign it to the whole class. Lastly, I can choose if I want to have the assess yourself poll question, um, which is a, is a great way for students to self-assess themselves um, either got it, partially got it, or didn't get it. Um, teachers really like this. They, they find that students don't always know if they assess themselves correctly. Some think they got it when they didn't. Some think they didn't get it when they did. So it's a great way for students to follow up with them and let them know, hey, you know, you're doing, you're doing great. So I just clicked done. Um, and now my assignment is ready to go. Um, we're just waiting for our students to respond. So now, in order to tell my students what to do, I click on Get Class Pin, and this shows me my seven-digit code. Now, I'll have my students 
um, enter this code, I can just put this up on my, my projector so that they can see the code really big. Um, but what I'm gonna do is just copy it and now I'll show you what it's like on the student side. So I'll log out. And now I'm back on to the main login screen and I'll sign in as a student. So copy in the class pin, sign in. So this is the class dashboard and this would show all the students that are in the class. I just have one student, so I'll click on Krista. Now, here we go. This is my question. How's the weather today? So student clicks respond and then here we are. So now I click the record button. Nice countdown. The weather is sunny and beautiful as always in California. And now I can uh, watch it back. Is sunny and beautiful as always in California. And if I want to, I can re-record it um, or just say it looks great. And now I, here I'm in the, the poll question um, and I definitely got this. Great job, my assignment is complete. And so um, now I'm done here. If I refresh the page, I can see here's my video. So let's log back into the teacher's account and see what that looks like. And here we are. Um, so it looks like my one student responded to it. This is the activities section that shows what percentage of students responded uh, to the poll question, if they got it, didn't get it. And I can even see which ones did or did not. Um, and here is the video, so I can play that. Weather is sunny and beautiful as always in California. Um, another great feature is to be able to share the web link. Um, I can share this with my parents, with other teachers, great way to keep everybody in the loop on student learning. And lastly, um, the daily review reel. Uh, this takes a selection of your students' responses and wraps it up in this cute little themed video with music. So this is kind of what it would look like. Weather is sunny and beautiful as always in California. Krista, it seems like it's so easy to use. What kind of reactions are you getting from users? Yeah, you know, we're seeing a lot of great feedback about um, just the ease of use of the app. Um, student, students, uh, teachers think that students are better able to articulate their thoughts on video than with a piece of paper oftentimes. Um, they're finding that it's easier to assess student understanding um, through watching the video than reading a cumbersome blog or having to keep track of slips of paper. Um, also showing that the daily review reel in front of the class or just the individual videos um, <clears throat> is adding to his uh, class rapport and helping students get to know each other better. Um, students are just feeling really empowered by it. Also, uh, they love that the focus is on content learn rather than having to express that content in writing. You know, I love the fact that it's cross-platform. I love the fact that teachers can use it. I love the fact that it's easy to use for both upper grades and for lower grades. Where is the future of all of this going? I mean, it seems like the, the concept of video communication is getting easier as bandwidth improves, as file sizes get smaller, as students have the devices in their hands. Where do you see all this going in, in the next couple of years? Yeah, you know, that's a really good question. And this is actually what I'd like to ask your viewers. Um, you know, I, I need feedback from teachers in order to understand what's really where we are going with this. Um, so I encourage anybody who does get a chance to try out recap to give it a go. Let me know what you think and let me know what's working and what we can do better and where you'd like to see it go in the future. And if anybody out there is interested in contacting, where can we find out more about Recap? Yeah, so definitely check out our website. It's at letsrecap.com. Um, on Twitter, we're at recap that. 
Um, and you can also email me personally, um, Krista, it's K-R-Y-S-D-A at letsrecap.com. Excellent. Krista, thank you so much for taking the time to come on today and sharing us with Recap. We love the app. We love all the great stuff that's happening at, at, at Swivel. And uh, congratulations on the launch of this great product. We look forward to seeing some many good things for you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, it's been a pleasure. And uh, I look forward to um, uh, what people think. Well, that's all the time we have on this episode of the Teacher Cast podcast. We'd like to thank Krista and all of her team over at Swivel and Recap. Of course, you can check everything out over at letsrecap.com. I hope to see you there. You can, of course, participate in this and all of our other Teacher Cast shows by finding us on Twitter at TeacherCast, leaving us a voicemail at teachercast.net slash voicemail, emailing us at feedback at teachercast.net. And this show will be archived on audio and video and can be subscribed to on teachercast.net slash iTunes and teachercast.net slash YouTube. On behalf of everybody here on the TeacherCast Educational Broadcasting Network, my name is Jeff Bradbury. Thank you so much for making TeacherCast your home for professional development. Until next time, keep up the great work in your classrooms and continue sharing your passions with your students.